Good morning, my brother, and welcome to your daily tea time as we get a grip on God's Word. Hey, I want to do a shout out to uh, a dear brother, Dwayne. Dwayne, it was awesome, awesome, awesome having lunch with you yesterday. I'm excited uh, to come alongside you and your guys and just continue to uh, do life together and just be a part of the Lord's work. Can't think of anything else uh, that I'd rather do. So great time. Keep pressing on, be encouraged, keep the faith. And gosh, today we are in chapter 7 of Proverbs. Before I dive into my verses, you are going to be, <clears throat> I believe, super blessed in the next week because starting tomorrow morning, we're going to be joined by Mr. Countryman, my mentor for the last 23 years. As you know, Jack is 91 years old. I do not know a man here on earth that is finishing as strong as Jack is on the back nine of life. So we did some recordings for seven straight days and he's going to come in uh, via Zoom and we'll be gripping the word together. And I just, I know you're going to be blessed. So that's starting tomorrow morning, Friday morning. But today we're in chapter seven. Uh, I did two verses. I did one and three. And this is what they say. My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. So that's one in three in chapter seven of Proverbs. My reveal is a great reveal to not just know the word, but allow God to permeate it throughout my whole being and ultimately that it would be etched onto the tablet of my heart. My eye, my implementation is keep my daily tea time with God and allow the Holy Spirit to take the word from my head down at 18 inches to my heart. Guys, that, that short distance in my faith journey is the longest distance. It, I can know the word, but boy, until I get it down here, that 18 inches to my heart is the only way I'm going to walk it out. So that's my implementation. My P is, Lord, please help me be a man of your word and use me to encourage other men to set and keep their daily tea time with you. All right, it's me gripping Proverbs 7, verse 1 and 3. I'd love to hear your verse. Rise up and let me go ahead and close this out with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, God, that we can come together each and every day setting that tea time with you and with great expectation, God, we can look into the time we spend with you in your word. We know it never returns void. And God, please help us to take it from our head knowledge all the way down that 18 inch journey to our heart. Etch it, Lord, on the tablet of our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, God bless you guys. You will see myself and Mr. Countryman starting tomorrow morning. Be sure to tune in. Be blessed.